Hey everyone, it's Michael Klepik here, your trusted guide in all things air and gas purification. Today I'm going to take you on a deep dive into wet scrubbers for boilers. You know, the unsung heroes of keeping our skies clear while we keep warm and powered up. We're going to break down their design, operation, and even get into the nitty gritty of what makes them so effective. Don't worry, I'll keep it light. Now, if you've ever been curious about how industrial boilers keep their emissions in check while powering entire factories, stick around. Spoiler alert, it's all about a little device called the wet scrubber. What exactly is a boiler? Before we get into scrubbers, let's first understand what we're dealing with. A boiler is a piece of equipment designed to convert water into steam or hot water, typically by burning fuel like coal, oil or wood. This steam is then used for heating, generating electricity, or in various industrial processes. But with this combustion comes some unwanted guests, pollutants. Pollutants from boilers. The nasty stuff. Boilers are notorious for releasing a cocktail of pollutants, and if we're talking about industrial scale boilers, the pollution can be significant. Here are the main culprits. Soot and particulate matter, PM. These are the tiny particles that can affect air quality and human health. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, and nitrogen oxides, NOx. Both are infamous for causing acid rain and contributing to respiratory problems. Hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide, CO2. Major contributors to global warming. Toxic substances and metals. These come from the combustion process and pose serious environmental and health risks. Now. How do we tackle these pollutants? Enter the wet scrubber. Wet scrubber design. How do they work? So, how does a wet scrubber work its magic? In simple terms, wet scrubbers use a liquid, typically water or a chemical solution, to capture and neutralize pollutants from the flue gas emitted by a boiler. It's a bit like giving the air a bath before it gets released back into the atmosphere. Here's the breakdown of the process. Pollutant-laden flue gas enters the scrubber. The gas is directed into a chamber where it gets mixed with the liquid solution. Absorption of pollutants. The solution absorbs the pollutants like SO2 or NOx, which react chemically with the solution, water or chemicals, and form harmless byproducts. Byproduct disposal. The solution now containing the absorbed pollutants is either recirculated or removed for treatment. Clean air out. The gas, now scrubbed of its pollutants, is released into the atmosphere, much cleaner than it was when it entered. The key to a scrubber's success is the interaction between the gas and the liquid, and that's where the design gets crucial. The key components of a boiler scrubber. A wet scrubber isn't just a simple box with some water splashing around. It's a bit more high-tech than that. Let's go through its main components. Housing column apparatus. This is where the magic happens the heart of the scrubber. It holds the gas in liquid while the cleaning takes place. Inlet pipe, where the dirty gas enters. Liquid supply. Pipeline. This is where water or a chemical solution is pumped into the scrubber. Outlet pipe. Once the gas is cleaned, it exits through here. Water recirculation tank. Because we like to be efficient, right? Used water is often recirculated to keep things sustainable. Sludge discharge. Nozzle. The byproducts, including the captured pollutants, are safely removed through this component. What makes a wet scrubber efficient is the design, the materials used, and the specific needs of the application, which leads us to the question, how do you choose the right materials? Choosing the right materials. The choice of materials used in a wet scrubber is critical to its performance and durability. After all, we're dealing with harsh chemicals and high temperatures. So, Let's break it down. Casing materials. The outer casing needs to withstand harsh environmental conditions, which is why we often use corrosion resistant alloys like stainless steel or fiber reinforced plastics. Spray nozzles. These are made from ceramic or special alloys to resist the abrasive nature of the pollutants. Packing materials. This refers to the material inside the scrubber that increases contact between the gas and liquid. It's often made of polypropylene or PVC, materials that can handle chemical interactions. Lining materials. 
internal surfaces are lined with corrosion-resistant materials like rubber to protect against chemical attacks. Demister pads. These capture any liquid droplets that might escape with the cleaned gas. We often use stainless steel or specialized polymers here. How to optimize a boiler scrubber. Here's where the nerdy stuff comes in, but don't worry, I'll keep it simple. If you want your scrubber to work effectively, you've got to get the technical aspects just right. Things like contact time between the gas and solution, pump capacity to ensure the liquid flows at the right rate, and fan blower power to manage the gas flow all play a role. Even monitoring systems to check pH levels, pressure and flow rates are critical for optimizing the scrubber's performance. Flue gas purification in power plants. Now let's talk about the big leaks, power plants. Power plants, especially those that use coal, generate a lot of emissions. A basic flue air purification scheme might involve a wet scrubber, but in coal-fired plants or waste incinerators, you need something more sophisticated. The process usually starts with mechanical filtration to capture larger particles, followed by a venturi scrubber, which helps remove finer particulate matter. This method is not only efficient, but also resource conserving, helping reduce the sludge produced. So, what's the best method? When it comes to purifying the exhaust from a boiler, wet scrubbers are hands down the best option. They offer efficient pollutant removal, are flexible enough to handle different gas compositions, and let's be real, they just get the job done. Plus, with catalytic scrubbers, you can even enhance the system's performance by speeding up chemical reactions and getting more out of your scrubber. So, there you have it. Wet scrubbers are a vital part of keeping our air clean, especially in industries using boilers. From the design to the materials, and even the science behind how they work, it's all about creating an efficient, reliable system that meets environmental regulations. And remember, a well-designed scrubber is like a tailor-made suit. When it fits perfectly, it works like a charm. Thanks for tuning in, and if you're looking to geek out more about air purification or just want to hear more about the world of boilers and scrubbers, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, keep scrubbing.